Good afternoon from Historic House, it's John here. Sorry I haven't been around a bit. Yeah, had a bit of a crisis. Got a bit petty to myself, you know, myself thinking, oh, no, no, one's, no one's watching what I'm doing. I might as well pack it in. But then, then something rather marvellous happened. It completely changed my mind. Uh, someone I know has a, has a daughter who suffers with a, a condition called um, MS. Which is, you know, a debilitating competition. Now, no, um, nothing will cure that, but, but, where is it? But, on doing a bit of research, oat straw seems to help with the symptoms. So, I gave this person that I know some oat straw tea. I think I made a tea bag and I made her a tea bag up and a bit of, a bit, a bit, you know, a bit spare for some more. And then the next time I saw this person, she um, she told me that her daughter really, really, you know, really benefited from the oat straw tea, you know, with the symptoms of her of her MS. So that coupled with the fact that she said she kept saying she thinks I'm onto something with this tea malarkey, um, I decided to keep going. Now then, this will be the last Monday afternoon. When I realise Monday afternoon, people are back at work after weekend. And it's not the best time. It's not the best time at all to be, you know, to be asking for people's attention about stuff. So I thought I'm going to do Saturday afternoons. Yeah, so Saturday afternoons, sometimes Saturday afternoon. Because it is that period, isn't it, where between you get back from your shopping, all the football, and there's nothing, some, some boring boring game show with some mediocre comedian on before the dancing show starts so I thought um let's um let's 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 just try and slot in there but yeah and then I, I thought you know it don't matter if one or two people look at the thing I, I understand why because I, 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 I yeah before doing this I watched a lot of YouTube videos, reaction videos, like I'm reacting to the tea in a way, so I watch it. And it's all about the picture, it's like, so it's, it's, they, have, they have their own blooming titles, big theme tune, Razzmatazz bigging himself up all the time. On average, it's about three minutes before you get to any, con any you know, like, say they're looking at a song. Yeah? It's like, you get three minutes of, of them talk, talking about themselves, saying subscribe and all that, but lucky. And um, I just found it quite irritating. There's, there's one, and I won't go into it, but where, where an opera singer reviews rock songs and stuff like that, and like a three-minute song, she'll, the, the, the whole thing will last 25 minutes. She keeps stopping and going back. And I didn't want to do that. I thought I just wanted to just come on. No thrills. Just talk about tea and go. And so that's, that's it. That's that. And I'm going to stick to that formula because I'm sure there must be people out there who are actually irritated to death by self-aggrandizing people. You know, there's vloggers going on and all about, oh yeah. Yeah, people with no musical knowledge. Yeah. Like, Jude, like, they're like talking about these, these songs and that, like they know something. And it's, yeah, I just didn't want to be like that. I want to be as genuine and, and authentically me as possible. Yeah, do you like the new hat, by the way? And that is, and again, that's well. That's because I've grown my hair and it keeps getting in my face. So I thought this would be ideal to keep it out of my face. And it's rather, I rather like the colours. But that's that anyway. So let's get on. So I've been do, doing long walk tea for quite a while now. That's why I left you off, and it was. I must admit, it does the job. Your lungs do feel, it do feel all right. And um, that's that. If you have any lung problems, get your send some lung walk tea. And um, take it. Take it. Don't expect instant results, but over time you will find <coughs> things are a little better. Now, this uh, today we're going to be, be talking about hawthorn berry tea. Which is absolutely the best thing in the herb world for your heart. The Hawthorne berry, of course, you know, it's common to everywhere. Europe, North Africa, Western Africa. Yeah. 
we see all over the place. Hawthorne, I'm sure we've sure all been snagged by it at some point. Of course, it does all some in a religious thing. Yeah, a certain crown was supposed to be made of these Hawthorne thorns. Anyway, let's get on to it. Hawthorne, right, is a heart tonic that opens the arteries and enhances blood circulation through the through the body. So that of course improves the uptake of oxygen and helps to regulate the heart rate and stabilise blood pressure. It's also relaxing so it will relieve stress on your nervous system and it has a diuretic effect which means it will help re prevent fluid retention which is also a factor in heart health. It's been used to ease palpitations And treat irregular pulse and hypertension. Again, in these in these days of a more sedentary lifestyle, where a lot of people are sat sat down. I mean, I'm sure there's still factory workers and stuff in there. People walking around, but it does seem a, a trend. But anyway, you know, Yeah, if you get pins and needles in your legs because you're sitting down a long time, tired legs, achy legs, legs go dead. Get in there. Get in there with some Hawthorne tea. Of course, in the Chinese medicine, Hawthorne teas, Hawthorne berries are called Shanza and are used to move blood. It's good for your heart, kidneys and nerves. And it's a rich source of nutrients. Also, Hawthorne improves the blood supply to the brain, so of course it's going to improve memory and alertness and clear the cobwebs away and help me, help me concentrate. Right, so that's that. That's the Hawthorne tea. All right, next we're going to talk about the cheese update. It's been a year now. I will say... Over very slow increments, it has improved my hearing, but it's taken a year, and I don't, I don't, it, and, and it's affected my my relationship with cheese. Yeah, I rather, I rather find it hard to to eat at the minute. I think I've only got, but luckily I've only got about eight hundred grams left to eat. But then that's it. Then, then I'm finished with cheese in excess for a while. I think I'm just going to get. Them. You know, a little block of cheddar or some rock for or something, but not much. But the experiment, it, it does work if you're prepared to eat tons of cheese, spend lots of money on, on cheese, and yeah, and and uh, and, uh, and, 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 yeah, and risk all the associated fats, uh, all the associated health risks of eating so much saturated fat. But anyway, it's done now. I've done it. I've eaten the cheese. I mean, I've, I've stopped the cheese update. I've done it and I've proved to my satisfaction that over slight increments, it does actually, it will actually improve your hearing. But that's it. There's going to be no more. That was, that was a final cheese update. So there we go. I'm going to stick to tea. Just tea. And that's it. So let's get the Hawthorne berry tea out. We're going to taste it. Now let's get the bad buy out. Let's have a look at it now. Very pale. Because I just brewed them in the pot. This is a nice smell. You're supposed to put them in a pan and I like steep them for, for 15 minutes. But I thought I'd have a quick shower. So I've just put mine in a pot for convenience because I didn't want to leave a pan unattended. Health and safety and all that. Anyway, cheers. So it is a smell. And that's lovely. Straight away. A nice delicate herby tea quite delicious so next week we're gonna and I, I must admit we're gonna try we're gonna try the old pine needle tea now I know nothing about it it's not even in my book but I'm gonna get myself some pine needle tea on next Saturday we're gonna do Saturday as I said we're moving to Saturdays and we're gonna do pine needle tea so watch out for that and um I'd like, to, I'd like to thank you all very much for this, uh, for, for 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 watching and listening if you have done. And um, 
I don't know, I'll just ask you, please, spread the word. You know? Spread the word. But, you know, let them know that I'm not, you know, there's no bells and whistles with it. It's just a man talking. And that's that. So thank you very much for listening. See you Saturday.